Hi, this is Cheryl St. Pierre of Majestic Wire Artworks. In this video, we're going to make a necklace that matches um, the princess earrings. And uh, I usually have a demo right at the beginning to show you, but today I'm switching things up and you will have to wait to see how it goes, um, see how it looks as we go. So what I want you to do is take a 14 inch piece of 20 gauge wire. This is probably too much, but uh, it's better to have too much than too little. And I want you to bend it in half at the seven inches. And we're just going to um, make a loop there. Just not too big of a loop, a fairly small loop. Um, all the loops that we're gonna make in this necklace we want them to be consistent, so um, either mark your pliers with a permanent marker or, you know, if you have your favorite size of loop, um, do that. So, and wrap it two times. So it's going to look like it's three, but it's actually only two. No, I'm going to change that up. Let's do it three times. And then the next one at the other end, we'll do it two times. Okay. And you do want it neat. So do it as neat as you can. Okay. And now we're going to put... Um, the four millimeter pearls of course it's going to give me there we go so um, the beads are at this point the wire that we wrapped around is the longer piece that's where the beads are going and then um, this wire is going to wrap around the bead. We're doing the C wrap again, just like in the earrings. And you're going to wrap around the pearl like this. And then you're going to have the change directions ready for the next pearl. And you want to, at this point, cinch it up. Um, we're going to do it like like this, but you have to be careful not to bend this. So just gently squeeze it together, cinch it up. If you squeeze too suddenly, it's all of a sudden this is gonna bend on you. So you just wanna do it gently and slowly. And then from then on, then we'll just push it one bead at a time. And I forgot to mention, just like we did with the earrings, I would recommend watching that video too. Um, you want the same type of bead drop and uh, you need to make it ahead of time too. I mean you can do it afterwards, it's just easier to do it ahead of time. So I will have the bead drop uh, pre written down in your supply list as being pre-made. Um, I sh believe I show how to make the bead drop in the princess earrings. So if you need assistance with that, uh, again, I, I refer you to that um, video. And now we're doing the third one. Okay, and I'll cinch it up. I'm gonna flatten them out. Okay, what I mean by flatten them out is we want the wires that are wrapping around the pearls um, to be level. Okay, like that. There 
there you go better view okay now we're at the point where uh, we're going to make uh, just like on the earrings we made the little point there for the bead to hang we're doing similar um, and it's going to have to be this way we're kind of going backwards I guess because this wire has to be the one doing the loop yes because we want to keep this one straight for the necklace or as straight as possible okay so what I want you to do is um, we're going to put the round nose pliers there and we're going to a um, little bit smaller than the size of the pearl and we're going to wrap around like this and pretend that that is a bead we don't want a bead there but we're going to pretend and then and then just wrap it around I think at this point we'd be okay to let go like that and guess what I forgot to put the bead drop on it so we want to how did I do that before hmm yes okay so I'm going to undo this and you can undo it as well and I'm going to Plop the bead drop on there, and I think I'll be okay. No, uh, it's backwards. I'm going to flip it around. Okay, so now I'm going back. I've got it back in the position and wrapping it around and see it worked out okay and um, now I'm going to cinch these two wires together here so they're straight and now we put on the next pearl so we're going to do three pearls on each side and the reason why it's only three is um, it's going to be hanging up like this for the necklace and it's going to be stronger to be only have three and you'll see you'll see when it's done and I know I know that uh, it's kind of hard for you to understand what I'm talking about until you get there but uh, it's going to be um, stronger if we have us uh, if you've noticed pardon my my words but um, if you notice Shorter things are usually stronger than longer things because there's more opportunity to bend. And that's why we're only doing three on each side of the drop. Okay. So that's one. I'm going to cinch it up. Cinch it up. And that bead keeps moving around on me. Okay, and three. Okay, so at this point, we are going to um, snip this wire right here so that basically it just meets up with the other wire. So, like, okay, and I'm going to crimp it down.
Okay, and now, okay, so it looks, sorry, I was out of the camera view. There. Okay, so that's what it looks like. We don't have it quite perfected yet, but we'll we're gonna we're gonna do those stages yet. So now I want you to do a loop that would have two wraps instead of three, because we're gonna uh, this will have the visual character uh, characteristic of one wrap. So I'm gonna do it a little bit smaller. And you also want to go, we want the loop to go the same direction that the um, C wraps are going. There, I'd say. One, two. Okay. See how it's just, whoops, let's get that into focus. Okay, so like that. And then we're going to snip it in, in the back. Crimp it in. And then um, because it's got two, ed two ends, we're going to um, make sure that there's nothing scratchy if there is i recommend you take a file and sand it down uh, mine's pretty smooth um the wrapping doesn't look perfect but that's that little bit of a flaw is probably something you can avoid um just because you've got two different ends going on there but you can straighten it up as best you can to be as perfect as it possibly can. And I want you to flatten out those C wraps. Mine looks pretty good, so I don't think it needs straightening out. Well, now we're gonna try and leave, I gotta get my camera, um, that not, we don't wanna um, bend it on purpose yet. Right now, I want you to make sure all your wraps are level. Like this, and mine was bent, so then we just get it perfect looking. Okay, so the, now the next step is to bend that center. And we're just going like this, and you would want to do it in the natural shape that the necklace should sit. Okay, so like this. So, and I see I need to um, bend this loop a little bit. You just eyeball it and see how it should, should sit. Okay, so that is the pendant part of the necklace. But the next step is we're, um, I thought about making some links like this to go, but I thought it would look funny with uh, all the wraps and have too much. In between so I thought let's just make um, just uh, some beaded chain and we can do I mean it's good to keep odd numbers we got three here we could do like five beaded wrapped um, huh I always forget what to call them but anyways a beaded chain and um, I well, I might as well do one in front of you, and then you can, I'll get you to do the rest while I ha I pause the video. Okay, so you're gonna need some working 20 gauge wire. You're gonna need your pearls, and um, I just need to snip off my copper to have some working. I like to have I like to have about a foot. 14 inches to a foot of wire to work with to start because that way I can do several um, several links, so to speak. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is make a loop. Get this from the back. Make a loop. So I usually give myself about 
two to three inches to do that. And we want to make the loops the same size as we did the other ones. Okay, and wrap it around. You can choose how many times you want to wrap it, two or three. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it three. That's a per that's a personal choice for you. Snip it off as close as you can. Put your bead on it. Okay, and make a loop on the other side. And at this point, this is where we link it on to the necklace. And then I take my chain nose pliers and I hold this loop so it doesn't change shape. So I'm holding it just around that part. And wrap till we hit the pearl. Okay. And then snip it off. Crimp both sides in. Make sure there's no rough edges to the touch and that it's sitting straight and one side looks longer than the other. Okay, And it does that. And then uh, what I want you to do is continue and do five of them on each side of the necklace. Okay? And I will pause and be back. Okay, so I now have um, five pearls put on each end of the pendant. And uh, this was my plan. It just um, adds to the pendant part. And uh, from here on, you could choose to either continue the um, beaded chain for the entire necklace or you could, this is where you could attach um, chain. And it would look, you know, uh, it would have that type of look. It's probably hard for you to see at this point here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Pull it through. Ah, chain's getting away on me, it's still on the roll. Okay, and um, I'm going to attach, now I've got these closed, so you could either the last ones put, attach your chain right onto the bead or um, do what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my chain with um, some little infinity links and uh, I'm going to do go ahead and do, attach chain, but I just wanted to uh, go over a little bit. Some people might not know how to go about knowing what to do with uh, um, the chain. First thing is you got to decide what length you're going to make your necklace and uh, measure each side from the point where the pearl is attached. Measure how long it is. Yours will be different than mine. Mine is um, three and a half inches. So if I'm going to do uh, 
So it's going to be six inches. And if I'm going to do an 18 uh, inch chain, I mean necklace, <clears throat> I would take 18 in inches minus six inches is 12. And then I usually, uh, usually takes about an inch for the clasp and the hardware, um, the findings that I, I use. So I probably would only need 11 inches of chain and each piece would be five and a half inches. And that's how I, that's how I figure it out anyways. So um, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys know how to do that, but just thought I would, for those that are newbies, that's always good information. Okay, so I'm gonna attach my chain and I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back again and I have the chain attached so that you can look at it and see what you think. You might want to do all the whole chain pearls, but um, this kind of gives you a look of what, see how it looks. It's beautiful. And when it sits on you, it's gonna spread apart like that. And you want, you know, you want the angle of the pe pendant to, to be natural, the natural way that the chain is going to fall on you. So you can experiment on your own neck and see if it, um, it's following the, the direct line that the pearls are hanging. You, so then if it's uh, narrower or, or wider, you, then you just, you know, bend it accordingly until you're happy. And, you know, when you have... Um, if you were selling it, you you could even uh, fit it on the person that's trying it on, you know, because you're going to probably have uh, different lengths. Different lengths will affect it differently. Different shapes of necks can affect it. And that's going, there we go. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you for this necklace. And thank you for joining me in this video. And I hope it was useful and um, that you got a lot out of it. And uh, God bless, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.